What's going on? Chore for the day. Putting on this fish finder. <clears throat> Got me a Garmin EcoMap 43 DV. Took my old one off and sold it. I just got to install a new one. I gotta get the rest of my tools. I show you. Let's see. see this ugly little hole right here. Yeah, right there. That's where I had the old one at. Plan on putting the new one. Let's see. Right there. As you can see, this is a tiller steer. That's my seating position. It's not a steering console. So I gotta put it, <clears throat> I gotta put it where I can reach it. So, let me get the rest of my tools and uh, we'll get started. Here I'm just going to use a uh, center punch to uh, go ahead and uh, start it where I can start uh, drilling where the drill bit don't wander off. That way I can drill me some nice straight holes since I'm drilling in aluminum. I'm going to drill these screws in with the impact driver. Just drive them down to about a quarter of an inch left. Then I'm going to take the Phillips screwdriver and I'll hand tighten them. That way I don't uh, strip out the aluminum.
check out ram mounts for your portable mountain needs i'm really liking this uh ram mount Pre drill some holes. Put my ram mount down. That's the base for my Garmin display. And action. Here goes the new Garmin that I'm about to install. That's the base of it that goes into this area right here. Into the ram mount, a lot of the ram mounts can twist and turn different ways. Plus, the Garmin got adjustments for uh, up and down and left and right. We even bought that nice fancy cover there from Garmin. Does okay, you don't snap on there tight as uh, I'd like for it to. Brand new unit that I purchased. Uh, real cheap. Off the entire net. Snappy top, back on top. Make sure the handle's up. And there you go. It's got a quick detachable face on it too. Snap it back into place. When you're done, take it off, take it in the house. One thing you're going to steal is the bottom part. <laughs> <laughs>